Hi guys, myself Harsha, you are watching Harsha Trainings. In this video, I am going to explain you about conditional routing. So many times we have a business need where we have to route an assignment either to work list or work basket based on some condition. So this is very frequent business requirement that we come across in our enterprise application development. How to solve this business requirement? For you to answer this, I am going to take you onto my laptop where I am going to show you this practically. So just let's get onto the laptop. Guys, if you like our videos and the content, so uh, please don't forget to subscribe our channel, like the video and post your questions uh, in the comment section below. And if you are attending any interviews and if you find any complex scenario based questions and all, don't feel hesitate to post the questions below in the comment section. We are always uh, like happy to help you to uh, give you the or to deliver you the best knowledge. So let's get on to the laptop to see the current video. In the routing, we have route to operator work queue. Operator means it will go to dedicated operator and work queue means it will go to one work queue, whatever that you provide the option that we are aware of. So use business logic option is a custom routing in the sense, not, not custom routing, conditional routing. Means I may want to route to either operator or work queue. I don't have any specific hard coded operator or work queue. Maybe it is one operator or another another operator, operator one or operator two or operator three or work queue one or two or three, anything. So for that reason, you need to choose use business logic and create a decision tree. You are aware of decision tree, right? In the decision tree, we will write multiple conditions. Condition one means A is equal to B. Return value should be either operator ID or work queue name. Name of the operator ID, operator ID value or work queue name. You imagine. We created a decision tree. In the decision tree, you have conditions. Let me show you. And here you go. You add condition like A is equal to, okay, let's say age is equal to 15. Then written some operator ID, SBI, MNGR1. Add one more condition, age is equal to. Just I am giving as an example age property, but the property can be some other meaningful one mngr2 or you add one more condition age is equal to 25 and 25 written value i am going to write what is that work basket name we have loss of something loss inspection sbi loss inspection q right like this something similar this is the name of the work basket or written uh, let's say basket to some other work basket name if i am going to call this decision tree here at runtime for routing it will execute the decision tree this decision tree is going to return either operator name or uh, what is this work queue name it will be accordingly routed to either operator or work queue so this is called conditional routing how to implement conditional routing by choosing the business logic option this was not there before pegas 7 it was not there we used to implement manually we used to call one custom activity we add preconditions and call to work list activity to work basket activity and pass the parameter value of either operator or work queue manually what we used to do manually some time back pega has provided as an option coming up with this option since pega 7 onwards everyone clear so how do you conditionally route an assignment to either work list or work basket? You can use the option, business use business business logic and create a decision tree and the written values of the tree in the conditions will be either operator ID or work queue name. Everyone clear? So that is one interview question.